I come here and I put out videos about happiness. And here I am, sobbing, eating peanut butter out of the jar and drinking a beer. <laughs> and admitting the fact that there are some days that life really does suck and there are some days when I feel like I have no clue what I'm doing. Hi everyone, welcome back. Tina here. Glad that you could join me again. And today's video is going to be, obviously based on the title, A Confession. Um, I started January with really high hopes. I had told myself that I was going to upload two videos a week and I was doing that. I told myself that it was going to be a no spend January and I was doing that. I was going to declutter my house and I've made some excellent progress but then that hit a wall and I just had all these big goals for January and I was going strong until last Monday. And last Monday, something happened between me and AJ. And I'm not going to get into details, but I will tell you, you know, he didn't break the law. He's not on drugs. He's not doing anything illegal. He's not harming anyone other than himself. But... It's something that's been going on between him and I for like five years now. And it's amazing how the people you love the most can break your heart the most. You know, a total stranger can make you angry. A fight with your boss can ruin your day. But only someone that you love from the very bottom of your heart has the ability to just break you. <laughs> I mean, just just utterly break you. And so that is what happened. Um, you know, it's not the first time AJ and I have had a clash. We've had a many. He hasn't made it easy. Um, I love him, love him with all my heart. But wow, and if you're the parent of a teenager, you get exactly what I'm talking about. You love this kid, you die for this kid, but there are days you want to be the one to kill this kid. I mean, it's just like, wow. Um, but this wasn't even that. This, this wasn't me being angry at him. This was me literally having just my heart broken by this boy. And for two days, I didn't sleep for two days. The tightness and the constriction in my chest left me feeling that I couldn't even breathe. Um, and I've always wished I was one of those people who could say, oh, I'm so upset I couldn't eat a thing. No, I'm quite the opposite. When I'm truly, truly devastated or upset, it's like, where's the chocolate? Where's the cake? Where's the jar of peanut butter? Uh, just... I'm the complete opposite. When I'm upset, I will gorge myself. So, of course, the diet was out the window. Everything was out the window. And then Wednesday was the day that I was supposed to edit a video that I had already shot. I had already shot a video where me and Casey and I were cleaning out my closet and my bathroom. I had all the footage, but I needed to get it edit edited and uploaded. And it's just like, I can't do this right now. I can't even get my brain in this state to do what I need to do. And then a couple days go by and Sunday comes like, okay, well you didn't post a video on Wednesday. You should really post one on Sunday. And at the same time though, I was feeling like such a hypocrite. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a very short video that I actually ended up deleting not too long after I posted it, where I was literally on Instagram crying, shoving spoonfuls of peanut butter down my throat, talking about how, you know, I come here and I put out videos about happiness and videos about organizing your life and videos on taking control of your life. And here I am sobbing, eating peanut butter out of the jar and drinking a beer. <laughs> 
and admitting the fact that there are some days that life really does suck and there are some days when I feel like I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, and I took that video down though because I realized I do have some children who follow me and I dropped several very strong sentence enhancer words in that little short video and it's like, hey, you really can't leave this up. So I took it down, not because I was crying and not because I admitted there are days I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, but because honestly, I really don't want to be on YouTube dropping curse words. But so yeah, I was totally feeling like a hypocrite that, you know, I, I'm so upset I can't breathe. And yet I'm telling people that you already have everything you need in your life to be happy. <laughs> you know? And the only thing that could really fix me was time. And I just, I needed that time to just calm myself down, to wrap my head around what had happened, to, for me and AJ to get a plan to start fixing the damage that had been done. Also, real quick though, I do want to give a quick shout out to Kalar Hoden, Mergoza2, Feather and Bow, and also John and Angel Formby. You guys reached out to me. I read your messages. I'm sorry I didn't reply. Um, I just wasn't in the right headspace, but your kind words did reach me, and thank you. These are people who saw my little Instagram meltdown uh, before I deleted it. So, but yes, thank you for reaching out to me. I do appreciate it. But after having this little bit of time to decompress and think about what had happened, I realized that my previous videos weren't wrong. You know, you probably already do have what you need to be happy. Uh, you can organize your life. You can declutter your house. You can be in control of different aspects of things. However, <laughs> there's always a however or a but, um, you just have to realize that there are going to be these days that come along and just sweep your legs right out from under you. Does that mean that you still no longer have what you need to be happy? No, it, it doesn't mean that at all. It just means that, wow, you just got the wind knocked out of your sails and some big bad mojos going down right now and you just gotta deal with it. Um, life is not perfect, life is messy. If you're, a teen, if you're a parent of a teenager, you know this. Teenage years can be harder than terrible twos. And if you're someone dealing with little kids right now and you think you got it rough, just wait till those teenage years come around because, you know, they're their own people. You know, you, you think you know what's good for them. And to a certain degree, you do know what's good for them. But they are their own person and they're going to do things their way and they're going to make mistakes. And sometimes they have to make those mistakes. Sometimes they have to screw up big before they realize, oh crap, this is a problem that needs to be dealt with. And it hurts you to see them make these big mistakes. And especially when you've already warned them that, hey, you're about to make a really big mistake. But mistakes is where life's lessons are learned. What really sucks is when you see them make the same mistakes again and again and again, because then you realize, okay, they didn't learn it the first time or the second time or the third time. Dear God, what are they going to learn, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, it's through our mistakes that we do grow as people. And sometimes life sucks. Sometimes life is hard. Sometimes for two days you can't breathe and you can't sleep. And that's okay. You have to give your body time, your heart, the time it needs to get over those things. And there's nothing wrong with giving yourself the time. And I feel like this video is really rambling. My last few videos have been pretty pretty well thought out and I'll be honest today I'm just kind of flying by the cuff and I have a Cooper here so sorry for the absence I am back and get, trying to get back on regular uploading schedule but yeah you can be happy and still have really crappy days <laughs> um, 
also another full confession I have spent this January. Um, I didn't spend until after AJ's thing with me. Um, but yes, I gave into food therapy. I gave into wallowing in self pity. I gave into self doubt, and I gave into retail therapy. Although my house is looking really cute, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my house is looking cute. I'll share that in February because I don't want to encourage you guys to break the no spin January the way I did. But yeah, once I cleaned it all out and decluttered everything, I kind of decided I wanted a farmhouse chic look to the main room. It's looking pretty cute. But I digress. I'm going to wrap up this video before I just continue to babble at will. But yeah, when those days come along that just completely suck, just know that this too shall pass and you will get over it. And if somebody who loves you breaks your heart, know that they probably didn't break it on purpose. Um, and that doesn't mean that that person doesn't love you. Um, and that, you know, when you truly love somebody, you're, you're going to patch it over. You're going to fix it. So with that, take this video for what it is. I'm not even going to ask you to give it a thumbs up. I will talk to you later.